off and ready to rock. All right, well, we're at the stage now where we're gonna go ahead and mount our arrow rest to the bow. For many years, I've chose the Trophy Taker Fallaway Arrow Rests. I really like a fallaway rest because it allows me to choose a magnitude of fletching configurations. And because that rest gets out of the way completely, you never have to worry about clearance with one of your fletchings contacting that arrow rest. Now this is a limb driven arrow rest, which means instead of this cord being tied to a cable, the cord actually goes all the way down to the bottom limb. So as you draw the bow, your limbs will flex and it'll allow this rest to come up. As you shoot, it actually will pull this down out of the way the same each and every time to where you have perfect clearance. Now for our initial setup, what I do is, even though the package comes with a type of device that allows you to mount that cable down to your bottom limb, what I've done was I buy these small little uh, limb savers and I'll go ahead and cut a slit through the center of that and I'll stick it on the limb. I've never had a problem with these coming loose and it really secures the cable. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a simple knot, wrapping the cord around itself and tying a knot. I'll snip it off, I'll fuzz up that, that material, then I'll burn it into a small little ball and then I'll touch it with my finger to secure it. Then I'll securely tighten this cord very firmly down on the bottom limb, but I've still left the top set screw loose, which allows this arrow rest and the cord to still move freely. Because I wanna be able to set this up initially with my arrow in the proper position. When you mount your arrow rest, you wanna make sure your arrow rest is level. You wanna just easily eyeball it and tighten it down securely, and also tighten the small little screws that they have as a secondary tightener device so that you don't ever have to worry about it moving up or down. From there, my initial setting on my arrow rest is when I put an arrow on here, I'll take a bow square and I'll put this arrow at 90 degrees. And then I like to adjust the height of my rest right now so that the bottom of my arrow shaft is right about the center line or the top edge of that rest hole. That way, as you draw your bow back and your broadhead is sitting here in the shelf, you have perfect clearance, especially if you shoot a fixed blade head. If your initial setting is too low, then sometimes you may have contact with your actual blades here on the front of your rest. So you wanna get that initial setting the way that you need it to. The other thing is you wanna adjust your left and right initially. And on a Hoyt, if you measure from the center of the riser to the top center of the shaft, it's almost two centimeters. A lot of other bows are right at about 13 sixteenths of an inch is a very good starting point. If you look directly over the top of your bow with an arrow knocked, your arrow should run right through the center of your string and about right down the center of the tiller bolts which you use to adjust your poundage. So you have a perfect center shot for left to right. This is our initial settings. We'll have to maybe adjust that later. Once I have that in that position, I'll go ahead and make sure I've completely tightened down that left to right and that up and down adjustment. And what I do personally, even though this is a full containment rest, I go ahead and trim off this small trap door on the side and a lot of times I'll take some snips and I'll actually cut half of this cage off the top too because I like to be able to have free range of being able to knock an arrow and put it in there. The riser shelf itself really contains that arrow just fine. I don't like to have a full containment all the way around because sometimes if you're in a rush and you need to load an arrow fast, it's just easier to be able to throw and go. And once I've done that, Really the last thing that you're gonna need to do is hold this arrow rest down. You're gonna pull all the slack out of this cord and you're gonna finally tighten that small set screw on the side, which keeps that arrow rest down. And like I said, from here, you're pretty much ready to go. We're gonna tie some knocks on in the next segment. And once we draw our bow back, that arrow rest should come up perfectly. Knock. Ready to rock. 